Um, so far I got the whole uh, Ford Escape hybrid battery pack apart. I uh, disconnected the cell so it was no longer that dangerous 300 volt level. Um, they're all 6 volt sticks now. Um, each of these 6 volt sticks is uh, it's roughly about 13 inches long or so. Um, I also measured on the motorcycle um, how much space I have for my existing battery and it looks like uh, the way this works out, see right here, this little part is extra wide and there's minimal space here. So each of these is four. Um, so if I cut across here, cut across here, I get a holder for just four sticks. Um, and then there's actually three areas across here of four sticks. So a dozen, two dozen. So I think if I chop them up like that, I'll get four. I'll stack it with another. I'll get eight. Eight times six is uh, 48 volts. So with uh, eight sticks together, I'll have my 48 volt nominal and then I'll do six strings of those. So next, I'm just gonna see what uh, I can do to cut across here. It's pretty hard plastic, so gotta figure out what's gonna cut that best. And also, I'm gonna keep these bus bars here, but on the other end, um, I'll have to pop those nuts out and then uh, see what else is gonna work for making the connections on that end. Okay, you can maybe see this a little bit better from this angle that uh, what I got is on this end, there's these little bus bars that connect this cell to this cell or a strip of cells, and then this strip to this strip. And on this end, they originally would have gone off to the other cells that are over here to make a very long uh, serial connection. Instead, I want to bypass that, shorten these things up. So if I pull these little bus bars from the other side, um, the spacing is correct for them over here, but there's a little bit of an offset little step. So it might be best if I cut out the plastic to uh, accommodate that over here. Um, so I'm thinking basically cut straight across here and then straight across over here. And I should have a, a tray for a single, uh, in this case, uh, 48 volts. And I'll stack another one on top to uh, make the full 48. Okay, here's one piece cut out and it looks a little butchered up there. Not that I have a lot of control with the uh, reciprocating saw. Um, but actually I was trying to do a zigzag so I could include these mounting holes on uh, two of them on this piece and two on the next piece over. So trying to do a little zigzag and that way I'll be able to still clamp the cover on. Dang it. Whoops. That was a short circuit. I got hot really fast. I meant to do these two. Yipes. That's uh, too hot to touch just from uh, short circuiting for a second or two. Okay, so I got the terminals together. And as you can see, it's now a 24 volt battery pack, so I'll slap a lid on that and then make another one, hook them together for 48 volts. So here the uh, lid piece, I just cut that off and then uh, that fits on here. And then also a little spot, since this was never intended for this bus bar to go across, I just used the pliers to break off the extra material right there to make it all fit. So now if I just, uh, run some bolts through. I've got it all packaged together. This side's completely covered up and then our live electrical connections are on this end. And then here's some original bolts from the battery pack and those will uh, hold that together too. Another 24 volts. Well, reusing uh, this battery tray isn't working as well as I hoped. It's a really brittle plastic. You try cutting it, it just breaks. Um, there's a couple of spots where it'd be ideal to cut down the middle, but that's where the mounting holes are. So it's not perfect, but at least it's good enough for me to kind of figure out the spacing and all. So basically, this is a 148 volt string, and so I'll have to build six of these, but definitely some way with uh, them all held together, maybe something laser cut, I think might actually work pretty well. But essentially, that's gonna be one sixth of the motorcycle battery pack right there. 
So it looks like there's definitely going to be some shortcomings to uh, trying to reuse this uh, battery tray. Uh, it's a really brittle material. It's pretty hard to work with. Another thing that I'm seeing too is that I need to stack these uh, cells basically four wide by 12 tall and this stuff gets really thick quick. So um, I think it's going to be too tall if I uh, reuse these trays. So maybe uh, something laser cut or even 3D printed might fit the bill a little bit better. So I'll keep uh, working on this and see you next time.